Good morning to a brand new day. Time to learn and games to play. Learning things is so much fun. Learning is good for everyone. Good morning, fabulous first grade. Welcome back to our PBS classroom. I'm Mrs. Hammock, and I'm here to help you practice and learn all the skills that you need to be an excellent reader and writer. I'm so glad you're here today. I was reading a story about a little girl who made a huge difference for her town, for her community. Has anyone ever said to you, oh, you can't do that, you're just a kid, you can't do that? Well, this is Sofia Valdez, future prez. This young lady decided that her community needed a new park. And when she went to the city, to all the government people, they said, you're just a kid, you can't build a new park. But she was able to convince them of what, how helpful the, a new park would be for everyone. And guess what? They did it. And she had lots of other great ideas too. She made a difference. Even though she was just a second grader, she was able to make a difference for the place where she lived. And guess what? You can make a difference right where you live. I know, it's true though. I know some boys and girls just like you that have done amazing things. They've raised money for the children's hospital. They've done special things for our essential workers, and they've made a huge difference. You can do that too. You might like to read this story about Sofia Valdez, Future Prez, by Andrea Beatty. It is, this book came from the Pile Python Library, but I bet your library has it too. Or you can check the county public library or look for it on Sora. I know you will be inspired to do great things when you read this story. She's an amazing girl, and I know you're pretty amazing too. Hey, it's time for you to write me a letter. I'm waiting. My mailbox was empty. What? I know. I have activity books that I would love to find a home for. If you would like to have an activity book for free, please send me a letter right here to our PBS classroom. Here's the address. You can send me an email or a letter and I will send you one of our fun activity books. Please make sure you give me your address so I know where to send it. Especially if you send me an email, right? Because I can't put this in an email. I need to put it in an envelope. So I need your address, okay? Great, I hope you do it. All right, my little friends, it's time for us to Train our ears for sound. That's right. Today we're playing a game, one of the most important ones, remember? Blending. Okay, so I'm going to tell you the phonemes or sounds. You're gonna blend them together to make a word. Are you ready? All right, this time I'm going to use my word builder. Okay, I'm gonna pretend like it's a hammer and we're gonna build a word. Here we go. F, oi, ol, Foil. Good job. All right, you ready for the next one? Okay, get ready. Ch, oi, s, choice. Good. I'm using my hand, but you can use the ground or you can use the table. All right, here we go. Let's do the last one. B, oi, boy. Good for you. Great blending. Did you hear our focus sound? Oi, good. We're going to get to that in just a minute, but let's review our letters and sound spellings from other times that we've worked together. O-U says ow. Good for you. Let's see how fast you can go. O-W says ow. A-Y says A. A-I says A. E-A says E. E-E says E. I-G-H says I. O E says O. Uh oh. How about this one? O A says O. Good. How about this one? I R says er. U R says er. E R says er. 
AR says R. OR says OR. OAR says OR. And ORE says OR. Good job. You did that pretty fast. All right. Today, like all week long, we're focusing on the boy sound spelling card. And we have OI says OI. OY says OI. All right. So today, we're going to focus on a word here that says j oin, join, join. Okay. What if I want join to be joy? Joy. What do I need to do? Do you remember? When we hear the oi sound at the end of a word, we spell it not like this, O-I. What do we spell it with? Right. We spell it with the O-Y, J-O-I. So join becomes joy. We have to change that sound spelling pattern because it's at the end of the word. All right, let's try this one. Here we have b Oil, boil, boil. All right. What if I want it to say boy? Hmm. Oh, I can get rid of the L. Okay, now does it say boy? No, that's right. Because when I have the oi sound at the end of a word or at the end of a syllable, I have to use the OY card. Boy. Great job. I wanted you to see that because sometimes we get stuck using the same sound spelling pattern without thinking about the rules about which one to use. Today I have a story we're going to start. We're just going to read part of it today and look for that oi sound. So let me get my pen and my pointer. And this story is called Joy's Birdhouse. See Joy here with her mom, and they're looking at birdhouses. Joy went to the store. She wanted to buy a real birdhouse, not a toy. She counted her bills and coins. She did not have the money. Joy felt sad. Her plan was spoiled. Mom had another plan. She told Joy they could build a birdhouse. Mom knew how. Buzz, Mom cut the wood. Bang, Mom made a loud noise with the hammer. She joined all the slats together. Wow, okay, so let's look for some of those O-Y words. You're right. Just like I told you my friend's daughter's name is Joy, Joy is the character in our story. She wanted to buy a real birdhouse, not a toy. Good. She counted her coins, but she didn't have the money. How did she feel? Right. She felt sad. But what happened? Oh, yes, her plan was spoiled. Her mom had another plan, right? So Joy, they built the house together, and they joined, and there's noise. Good job. All right, I can't wait to find out what happens at the end of this story tomorrow. But let's work on our high-frequency words. Are you ready? Terrific. We have two words today. Here are all of our words, money, toward, new, fall, build, above. And today we're going to focus on build, B-U-I-L-D, and above, A-B-O-V-E, above. Good. All right. So let's take a look at our sentences. I see stars, hmm, me. Okay, are you thinking about the clues? They will hmm, something. All right, where are the stars? I see stars 
above me. Good. Above. That's the word, above. And they will, what are Joy and her mom going to do? Build. They're going to build something. Good job. All right, let's spell above again. A B O V E. Above. And let's spell build. B U I L D. Build. Good job. All right, let's take a look at our structural analysis. That's where we're talking about the type of syllable that has a final stable syllable. So that means it has a consonant and an LE. Okay, I have some more words for us to split apart and so that you can see that syllable type. Ready for this one? This one says riddle, riddle. Okay, let's see how many syllables riddle has. Ready? Riddle. Okay, did you get it? Riddle. All right, what do you know when you look at this word? Tell me. Yes, there's a consonant and the L-E. And so that part is going to stay together. And because we have a double consonant, we know we can split right there. All right, so we have rid, dull. Now, we know this is an I sound because it's a closed syllable. Remember when we have a consonant, a vowel, and a consonant? That consonant closes in the vowel and makes it say I. And then here is our stable syllable, dull. Rid, dull. Good job. All right, let's try this one. It does not have a double consonant. So what do we need to do? Okay, we're going to find the consonant and the LE. That part stays together. All right. How are we going to read this one? What do you notice? Is there, is this a closed syllable? Is there a consonant? No, nope, there, it's an open syllable. That means this A is going to say A. Cradle, say it again. Cradle, good job. Cradle, terrific. All right, one last one, are you ready? I made it a little easy because it has a double consonant. You remember what to do? This word is battle, battle. All right, so here's our consonant and the L-E. We're going to split it right there. Here's our closed syllable, battle, battle. Great job. Wow, time just zipped right by us with all this great learning. Let's sing together. Goodbye now, goodbye now, the clock says we're done. I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye, everyone. Tomorrow's Friday. Come back and let's find out what happens with Joy and her birdhouse. Okay? Great. Have a great day. Bye.